describe sommer fields at a model in order to explain the observed fine structure of spectral lines sommer field introduced two main modifications in bohr's theory according to sommer field the path of an electron around the nucleus in general is an ellipse with the nucleus at one of its foci the velocity of the electron moving in an elliptical orbit varies at different parts of the orbit this causes the relativistic variation in the mass of the moving electron now when elliptical orbits are permitted one has to deal with two variable quantities the varying distance of the electron from the nucleus the varying angular position of the electron with respect to the nucleus that is the azimuthal angle phi let us arrive at some important equations to deal with these two variables two quantum numbers are introduced the principal quantum number n of bohr's theory which determines the energy of the electrons and a new quantum number called orbital or azimuthal quantum number which has been introduced to characterize the angular momentum in an orbit that is it determines the orbital angular momentum of the electron its values vary from 0 to n minus 1 in steps of unity this orbital quantum number is useful in finding the possible elliptical orbits the possible elliptical orbits are such that b by a is equal to l plus 1 by n where a and b are semi major and semi minor axes respectively of the ellipse consider the first energy level n is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 l is equal to 0 that is in this energy level there is only one orbit or subshell for the electron also when a is equal to b the two axes of the ellipses are equal as a result of this the orbit corresponding to n is equal to 1 is circular this subshell is designated as s subshell since this subshell belongs to n is equal to 1 it is designated as 1s similarly for the second energy level n is equal to 2 there are two permissible subshells for the electrons for n is equal to 2 l can take two values 0 and 1 when n is equal to 2 l is equal to 0 b by a is equal to 0 plus 1 divided by 2 that is equal to 1 by 2 or b is equal to a by 2 this subshell corresponding to l is equal to 0 is elliptical in shape and is designated as 2s when n is equal to 2 l is equal to 1 b by a is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 2 that is equal to 2 by 2 is equal to 1 or b is equal to a this subshell corresponding to l is equal to 1 is circular in shape and is designated as 2p for n is equal to 3 l has three values 0 1 and 2 that is there are three permissible subshells for the electrons when n is equal to 3 l is equal to 0 b by a is equal to 0 plus 1 by 3 that is equal to 1 by 3 or b is equal to a by 3 when n is equal to 3 l is equal to 1 b by a is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 3 that is equal to 2 by 3 or b is equal to 2a by 3 and when n is equal to 3 l is equal to 2 b by a is equal to 2 plus 1 by 3 will be 3 by 3 or b is equal to a the subshells corresponding to l is equal to 
1 and 2 are designated as 3s, 3p and 3d respectively. The circular shell is designated as 3d and the other two are elliptical in shape. It is a common practice to assign letters to L values as given below. The orbital quantum number is 0, electron state is S. Orbital quantum number is 1, electron state is P. Orbital quantum number is 2, electron state is D. Orbital quantum number is 3, electron state is F. Orbital quantum number is 4, electron state is G. Hence, electrons in the L is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on states are said to be in the S, P, D, F and so on states.